Is it life imitating art? Or is it art imitating life? Once a year, these caped crusaders from Batman to the Man of Steel, along with an army of comic book icons, invade America's finest city to mingle among the masses, greeting fans and foes alike, while observing an interplanetary peace. During this event, known throughout the galaxy as Comic-Con. I welp TV. Welcome to Comic-Con. Who says Halloween only comes once a year? At Comic-Con, every day is an excuse for fans of all ages to parade among their peers, decked out in full superhero attire. I love seeing everyone dressed up, all the characters, characters I've never seen before. Everywhere you turn, it's a Kodak moment. Normally, these superheroes shy away from the paparazzi. But at Comic-Con, they're more than willing to strike a pose for the army of fans that have traveled from all over the universe to meet their celluloid and paperback idols. You know, Comic-Con is the best place in the world to market any kind of product or any kind of movie that involves superheroes, comics, anything to do with this uh, a fantastic sci-fi and fantasy crowd because it's all in one place. Everybody's here to celebrate all of that, so it's fantastic. Promotion is the name of the game at Comic-Con. For the fans, it's all fun and games. However, for Hollywood, this event is big business. At Comic-Con, what we've come to see is that not only, like our booth, we'll set up our booth to show everything to the collector. Comic-Con is like setting up everything that's popular to show to Hollywood. So Hollywood just comes down here like it's almost like a supermarket of brand new stuff for them to look at. This group of sexy Vikings are hawking the movie Pathfinder. This international gathering of luxury yachts migrates once a year to this prestigious location to see and be seen by an army of adoring and often envious boating enthusiasts. Some are looky-loos, many are wannabe yacht owners, then there are the serious buyers that are looking to purchase their first, or in many cases, their next yacht. Dead ahead is the Tuscan Sun. 45 meters of floating luxury that cruises at 45 knots and is skippered by one of the industry's few female captains. I grew up in Fort Lauderdale in Florida and I was raised on the sea so my parents always had boats and um, at 13 years old I got a job washing boats and from there I began crewing and uh, worked for a really bad captain and I thought if he can do it I can do it so um, he inspired me and uh, went to school, did my sea time, and became a captain. The sun deck is the best with the jacuzzi. You got two bars and it's a great, it has a sunroof and it's a great party area. So for, you know, fun sun and, and drinks, it's the place to be with music, great stereo system. From there we go down to the main deck and that, it's the salon, the main salon. There's another bar. <laughs> There's many bars on the boat. And uh, it's a sitting area. And then you move forward to the, the dining salon. The first accommodation is on the main deck, and that's the owner's suite. It's, it's really big. Um, two uh, closets, two uh, bathrooms, a tub, and a shower. There was no expense spared when it came to the, you know, the running and the safety and the uh, comfortability of the, the vessel. Listed by Meryl Stevens, the Tuscan Sun can be yours for 24 million euros, which is a buck or two shy of 34 million dollars. Be sure to watch for part two of our adventure at the Monaco Boat Show. We will explore more multi-million dollar yachts and learn about the latest innovations in yachting technology. Plus, we're going to see the newest water toys used to maximize a yacht owner's fun in the sun when Wealth on the Water returns to Monaco. 
How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Terry's Travels. I'm Terry, and today we are in my old hometown of Ocean Beach, California, an iconic beach community that has, uh, well, let's say a personality all of its own. How do I describe it to you? Well, I can't. You got to see it to believe it. And the best time to see OB in action is on Wednesday night at the Farmer's Market. Don't miss it. It is quite a trip. OB, are you kidding? You can see half-naked people walking around in the middle of winter passing a bong back and forth. I mean, it's just jaw-dropping fun. <laughs> section where people make soaps and they make jewelry and all sorts of things. We got woodworkers here and then we have the farmers which the, that represent mo everyone in, in California so it's a certified farmers market and so a lot of the local people from like Oceanside, Escondido with oranges and apples up from up north and then we got all the food people so there's all kinds of food eat here, bakeries, kind of just Hopefully a good mix of everything. Actually, the money from this market goes and helps, it, it puts their Main Street on. It pays for the, it, most of the money goes back to the community here. Well, this is a whole wheat banana, and it's made with brown sugar and honey, and organic bananas. You got the love, and you got the love. I said, now you got the love, and you got the love, and you have your love. Well, what I do here is unique sports apparel. We've got tons of stuff from the 1970s up to today. We look for authentic, licensed apparel and sell it at really discounted prices. I get people the best price, always authentic, and I always leave here with a smile on the face. Do you want to film us? From Ohio. Where? Columbus. Columbus. All right. I was born. Yeah. I'm like, that's a really big camera. <laughs> I sell a bread and now we have gluten-free bread, also 100% gluten-free. Then the German rye, sourdough. Oh, this is just natural what we do. We not put chemicals in the bread. That's the difference. This coconut milk, uh, all organic, non-GMO ingredients. Uh, of course, it's naturally lactose, free dairy, free gluten, free soy, free, so good for everyone. So I make my own natural healing products. So we make all kinds of remedies for skin, for eczema, age spots, stretch marks, pain, um, just all kinds of healing products, and it's all natural. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the Farmer's Market. It's always a fun place to hang out. And if you would like to hang out with the crowd, Wednesday night starts about 5 o'clock, goes till 8 or 9. As for me, well, I'm out of here. It's time for me to go to a brand new location. Where? Well, I really don't know right now, but I'll see you when I get there on Terry's Travels. <laughs>